Today, we're going to give ourselves one season to try to win a game with every Premier League club. Yes, that's right. We're going to be journeying around England one season. We're going to be switching which teams we manage. And the goal is 20 teams to get one win per club in one full season will this be possible i don't want to waste your guys time let's get into this one we are going to be going from arsenal all the way to who's the last one is it wolves it's wolves right yeah i guess i could have just went like that but arsenal to wolves we are going to start with arsenal and we're just going to go alphabetical order once we win our game with arsenal we'll request a job offer for aston villa and then we'll keep moving up and on and hopefully by the end of this we'll have a win with every team as their manager in one season right so you can see that arsenal is actually going to start off with the community shield we're just going to be counting premier league games no champions league no fa cup no Carabao cup premier league are the only games that are going to be considered wins i mean yeah if we win the community shield fine good but it's not going to count. We still have to win a Premier League game with Arsenal. Other than that, there's really no rules to this. We could buy players if we want. With a team like Arsenal, we probably won't. But, you know, maybe we move to Villa. We buy one player on their team just to boost their squad since we'll still be in the transfer window. Okay, so we actually ended up losing the Community Shield. So, yeah, I mean, even if we won that, maybe, well, we didn't win. So, it doesn't count. It wouldn't have counted either way. Leicester City is game one for Arsenal. We probably won't be playing many games. If it comes down to like the final game, I might have to give it a go. But at least to start this, you would think this should be an, an easy win to get going. A home game against... No, this is actually an away game against Leicester. Right, we're going to get in here. We're going to sort the highest rated starting 11 that we can physically get. Mesut Ozil. Yeah, we'll throw him on the bench. Why not? Put him over in Al Nenny. Okay, I, let's see if we can do it in our first game. It would be great if, you know, obviously for a lot of these better teams in the Prem, if we can just sneak quick wins in the quick sim. And we do. Arsenal is complete. <laughs> and here we go into club number two. This is going to be one of the more difficult ones. And since it's the... Yo, the transfer window, we may actually consider buying a player while we join Villa. Right, so I want to make a splash, and I want to sign a player here with Villa, since, obviously, their team is a, a little weak compared to the other ones we're going to do. And we're in the transfer window, so we can buy a player. I'm going to go for an older one, but very high rated, very cheap. Zlatan to Aston Villa, probably one of the most unrealistic transfers that could ever happen. 20 mil, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is actually coming to Aston Villa. One of the most unlikely transfers to take place, he's going to slot in over Watkins. And all we need for him is in the first game to just score like two goals and boom, we're perfect. That's all we need from Zlatan. And we're going to get a fairly decent draw as well. Sheffield is the club that we're facing fairly decent honestly i don't i don't see a better club that we actually could have gotten but who knows i mean if we start to slip up in some of these games this is where it could push us back and could limit us but zlatan comes in clutch does he score both um uh, barkley and zlatan scores the winner man what a signing that was well if we keep going at this pace we're gonna be done in in just 20 games if we can just win every game but it's time to accept the next offer from brighton this is team number three let's go and if anyone is wondering how this is being done, it's the cheat engine. You can basically request whatever job offer from any team that you want within a career mode. That's how we're able to do this and how we're going to be able to actually manage 20 Premier League clubs in one season. The Brighton team. Yo, low key. Can I just buy Zlatan again from Villa? I love him on this team as well, honestly. Yo, I might just risk this one. We're getting really good draws in these games. Brighton against West Brom. Do you think I could just win this one without signing anyone? I genuinely think I probably could. What a freaking draw. It is away from home. Come on, man. Come on. Yes, let's go. We didn't have to do anything. This is going to be so easy with these, these smaller clubs. And then when we get to the bigger clubs, obviously those are going to be easy wins. Good thing we're leaving as well. We got ourselves an injury. Whatever. Burnley, I believe, is the next club in alphabetical order. This is going to be another tough one. So in terms of the transfer window, this is going to be the last chance. We have to buy a player until January for a club because, you know, when we start joining teams in the middle of the season, obviously we're not going to be able to sign anyone. 26 mil is all that Burnley has. And here's their squad. 82 Pope gives me hope that we won't have to buy anyone and we should just be able to win. Let's see who our first game is against. Great. It's against freaking Man City and then Sheffield. So that one should be winnable. But this is like the thing. It's been easy so far. Here's what I'm concerned about is like, okay, imagine we lose to City. Sheffield's a winnable game, but imagine we draw that. Leicester and United are both tough games too. Imagine we drop points in both of those. And, th and then Arsenal and Liverpool, it's like the games will start to add up. And 
hopefully we can just secure the win against Sheffield. I don't think we're going to be able to beat City. So let's potentially get some help with this team. Iago Aspas is the player that I want to bring in to this Burnley team. A big attacking player who can score goals. I think that's kind of the key to this. We saw how crucial Zlatan was when we brought him in. Let's see if this is going to be a possible signing. Iago Aspas. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough money. It's 32 mil gonna be enough they say it's perfect okay that's the only signing we need then right so here's what the team's gonna look like now an 84 rated striker oh my god i got i got a bit concerned i didn't see him there we also have dalvin as well that works cool a lot of high rated attackers in there who knows man maybe at this point it could be possible for us to sneak a win from city could we do that moment of truth oh they're number one in the league man it is a home game for us so it could be possible iago aspas please come in clutch please one nil that's our first managerial loss of the year and just like that january is over the next few teams we manage we're not going to be able to bring in any more players obviously until we reach january look at the algo aspects with that plus three upgrade oh this should be an, i'm not gonna lie this should be an easy win it is away from home we've already beaten sheffield once so we should be able to do them twice right it's a draw dude this is what i was worried about i literally did i not just say this lose or drawing to sheffield and now we just have an extremely difficult schedule up okay i'm gonna give the quick sim one more go and if it doesn't work here against leicester then against manchester united our next game we're gonna do the, the sim match where we're gonna watch the sim play out and if we need to jump in we can jump in but i'm pretty confident that we can win this one it is a home game it is against leicester it's another draw man okay this is uh this is bad <laughs> this is this is not good because if we start losing games like this we're not even gonna be able to make it to managing all 20 teams so this is kind of a must win at this point let's go to the sim match we're gonna watch this play out we're gonna jump in if necessary let's get it we uh yeah we're gonna jump in any chance i get i'm gonna try to score and we're gonna need to win this and united is already about to take the lead but yo our defense stepping up let's go jumping in straight away taking so slow all right we might have someone through here. We don't. We have numbers. Who's that on the wing? McNeil. Come on, man. What are we saying, McNeil? Top of the box. Who is that? Bang it, please. Please shoot the ball. Another chance. Oh, my God. I'm jumping in again. Yo. Please say he's onside. This is the new signing, Iago Aspas. Iago Aspas. Iago Aspas. Let's go. Get it, boys. 1-0 Burnley. What a freaking run. What a freaking signing. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to have to jump. Oh, my God. What was that? We just, like, gave up. Pos what? Did Wait, we had the ball there. I don't want to jump it on defense because, like, I'm not confident in my defending skills. I'm going to let the CPU do that. Why do I feel like we're about to drop points here? Another chance. Jumping in. It's McNeil down the wing, and I see someone far post. I see someone far post. Oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> my attacking skills are unmatched. I believe it's world-class difficulty. I really hope it's world. I think it's world-class difficulty with sliders. It's what I use for the my player. Dalvin, what a goal. Is this about to be another? Oh, I think we just lost the ball. I jumped in as soon as we lost it. Bro, Bruno Fernandez just scored? Oh my God, we can't catch a break in this game. We're about to concede another, man. Oh, what a save. Pope, let's go. Oh my God, Pope again. Look at these possession numbers. We're getting destroyed. No, oh my God. What? I don't know, man. We just can't. We're not going to be able to beat United. I guess I have to play the rest of this game, I think. Here we go. Let's get back into this thing. Far post again. Okay. Is he on? He is. It's tied up. I just have to play the rest of this game or else I don't trust the simulation at this point. Could be the last chance here. 86 minute. Don't. Why are you passing? No, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, my God. Here it is. One of the. Why is it just passing it to the other team? I got two players open. I hate this game so much. I'm not aimed there. I'm just not aimed there. There it is. A big fat L yet again. I think we just have to go through the quick sim and just hope and pray we get a win here soon. You know what? Maybe we'll have better luck through the calendar against Arsenal. Draw. Oh, I think we just have to wait for Villa because, I mean, we're not beating Liverpool away. It's just not happening. I told you this is Burnley's going to be the team that ruins it for us. We draw as well. All right, Villa at home. If we lose this one, the episode is officially over. I don't think we can come back. Here it is. Team looks good. I need Iago Aspas to start working for me, man. Home game against Villa. We already managed Villa. It's about freaking time. Let's go. And Zlatan misses a pen. And that's how we win this one. Wow.
All right, team number five, Chelsea. These ones, like, teams like this should be easy. This should just be one game and a win, assuming we don't play, like, a top team, assuming we don't get anyone in the top five. So Chelsea could just be a calendar sim, probably. Oh, my God. We start against Liverpool. Really? Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's just hope we win it. Liverpool, did we win it? We lost. Of course, of course we did. Now it's Villa, and this one should be a win. Dude, oh, we're just getting all of our wins against Villa now. Villa is just the team to beat, and we already used them as our manager, so that's it's fine with me. Werner is hurt, though, on this team. We'll use Abraham over Giroud, actually, and we'll go into it with this. Okay, here we go. Home versus Villa. If we drop points in this one, man, I just have the whole world against me at this point. Here we go. Stamford Bridge, Villa, 4-0. Oh, my God. Team number six, we need to start moving. You know, the, the goal would have been to get 10 teams in by December or by January. Sorry. I don't know if that's going to be possible right now. We're, we're still going to try. It could be possible. Here's your Crystal Palace team. So we got an international break right now, and we're going to start back up against United, man. We're getting so unlucky with these scheduled games as soon as we join clubs. We've already lost to United once this year. This is probably going to be the second time this year. Let's make sure... Everything looks good in the starting 11. Let's make sure all of our, like, the actual players that should be starting are starting. I don't even know what to say about this one. Just, like, maybe if we're lucky, we'll win it. But, yeah, a draw. That's probably the best we could have asked for. Then give us Arsenal next, too. Where's Villa? We need Villa again. Oh, good. They're coming up after Liverpool. What? Wow, wow. We just joined Crystal Palace at the worst possible time. Okay, Arsenal could be one that we win. A team that we've already managed. We won on our first game with Arsenal, right? Can we do it here? It is a home game. Oh, my goodness. I mean, we just got to get to Villa now because there's no way this team beats Liverpool. Why? Do I don't even understand my luck with this. Oh, we're going to be lucky if we get past eight teams when we get to January. Who knows? Maybe we'll sneak a win past Liverpool. Of course we don't. All right. On to Villa again where it should be an easy win. Or have I jinxed myself? Are we going to drop points to Villa? Please, no. Please, God, no. Oh my god! Palace, why are you so bad? This is not good. This is not good. Leeds United away, not a guaranteed win. The only one out of all of these that I could say could be guaranteed. If we don't win at least one game against Burnley, Villa, or Leeds, th that's not looking good. What is what what's wrong with the team? Is everything good? I mean, maybe you shouldn't be starting. No, I mean, yeah, he, he's the best option. Do we have any other just central midfielders? We don't. Why is this team using the formation that it's using? I don't get it. Whatever. We're going to try it. Come on, man. Please. Palace. Let's do something here. Steal some points on the road from Leeds United. Oh, my God. So, I don't want, I don't want to go into the quick sim or the, the sim where you actually get to play the game. No, I kind of want to let the teams do their own thing. So, at this point... Bro, I'm just going to sim here, and I'll stop it if we win, but let's let the calendar do it. I feel like we have better luck on the calendar, but imagine we lose every one of these games. Draw. Win. Yes. Let's go. We take down Burnley. No, stop simulating. Oh, my God. I just wasted precious days there. I clicked B, I swear. I did, and we lose to Villa, but we got our win. That, that's all that matters. So we're moving on to Team 7, and it's only January. Everton should be a good one. You know, about a mid-table team, maybe a little bit better than a mid-table team, I believe, in this current season we're in. Where are they at? Of course, okay, we start with the FA Cup, which doesn't matter. And then, of course, we get Man, or Man United. At least we have West Ham on the horizon. Oh, wait, this United game is a cup match, so we just have to sim past that one right there. Yeah, okay. Is it even worth our time to buy a player here at the club? I don't know. 68 mil. We could buy someone really, really good, but I genuinely... Does Everton really need it? I guess West Ham is above them in the table. You know what, man? Screw it. Let's just play it. Oh my god. Is this gonna be is this gonna be a poor decision? I've made some bad managerial decisions. Oh, it's a drop. I don't know if I, buying one player would that have really helped in that game? Probably not. Luckily, we have Newcastle next, which should just be a quick sim over in a quick win. If it's not, then we have West Brom. They freaking draw. I'm actually the worst manager known to man. And if we lose this one, the episode might be over. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you. All right, it's only gonna get more difficult from here on out. The next few teams are Fulham and Leeds. Well, actually, you know, once we get past Fulham and Leeds, then we have Leicester, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, which should be good. After that is where it gets difficult again. And we only have 
four months left to do this five months all right fulham who you got in your next game it's always liverpool isn't it it's always it is we can't oh my god right yeah this month is maybe we get a win versus brighton but i don't see anything else should i be more confident in this fulham team and because it actually takes a while to get the offers in we are not arriving in january we do not have a chance to buy any players we're basically stuck here so we just got to get lucky we just got to get lucky to no loss i gotta wait two weeks for arsenal do we get lucky in this one we do stop simulating oh my god i'm wasting i'm actually wasting precious time i need to be more careful with these sims this is team number nine as long as we have so with team number nine that means we have 12 more wins i believe we've won with eight teams so we need 12 more wins as long as there's 12 games remaining in the prem oh no it's not doable is it it's not doable with premier league games i don't think we're either way we're gonna see how far we can get i mean whether it is or isn't we'll, we'll we'll just go on and see maybe we should have counted cup and champions league games that might have made it a little bit easier on us but i wanted to go a little bit more difficult route right wolves it's a win who knows maybe with the way games work out we could possibly do this i don't know maybe it could be possible guys it genuinely could we'll see we just especially with these next four teams we can't afford to lose a single game we have to get in win the first game and move and we start with the europa league we can't start like starting uh counting cup games now so we just have to sim past this we have to beat newcastle should be an easy win it is on to liverpool next finally the thing is for this to work we have to get extremely lucky but not only that we can't lose a single game the rest of the way out and watch us get super unlucky with liverpool watch us have man city next i could definitely see it happen liverpool is in first arsenal yo that's still a tough one that's not a guaranteed win on the road <laughs> it's just my luck man with this episode so far and the next club is united oh my god yo game what are what are you guys giving me right now this is so unlucky whatever it is a home game and it is a win thank you nine teams left it's not gonna happen but i'm still i'm still hoping that we can maybe at least get 15 teams in man city next man city's in the europa league what and we have arsenal wait this is the this wait what this looks super familiar oh wait this is city right yeah okay why, why am i feeling deja vu right now whatever arsenal come on away man city can't even win games man city and liverpool are dropping points that's when you know it's just not going our way man can we even okay finally we beat fulham moving from city to united is that legal i don't think that's allowed but we're doing it i don't care back into it guys we have like four games left in the prem three games depending on where we're at it's just about how many teams we can do at this point and we have burnley next so should be a win with united and it is Club number 14 with two games left. Newcastle and then Sheffield. That's all we can physically do. And you know what? This actually might be the last club because it does take a few days in between transferring and moving teams. So maybe it's... Po oh, my God. Oh, that's it for the episode, man. We're not beating Liverpool or Arsenal. So we get to 13 wins with 13 different Premier League teams. And there it is. The end of the season. The only teams that we don't get are Sheffield... Southampton, um, Tottenham, West Brom, West Ham, Wolves, and then obviously we're with uh, we're with Newcastle right now, so we're unable to do that. Six teams, man. One, two, three, four, five, seven teams. Excuse me, seven teams we are unable to get wins with. Even if we included other competitions, Champions League, you know, Caribbean Cup, FA Cup, Europa League, all of those, I still don't even know. I don't even know if we would be able to do this. This is probably one of the hardest challenges that I think I've ever done. I want you guys to try this one out for yourself and tweet me, DM me on Instagram, show me on TikTok if you guys can complete this challenge. Genuinely, one of the hardest Karimo challenges I think I've ever tried to do. Should we give it another shot? Maybe with another league? Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching though. A lot of fun content coming here in December, so make sure you guys are subscribed. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season as well with whatever you guys celebrate. And uh, we'll catch you guys for an episode soon. Peace.